Hey everyone, I'm just going to start up a series on YouTube which is going to show me modding. Um, just like creating a mod from scratch or adding to an existing mod for instance. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, provide the link in the video description or a link to a thread. So today I'm going to create a single player commands plugin. Um, it's going to be like a tunnel command or it makes your path as you walk. So to do this, I create a new class. Um, it's going to give you code SBC underscore, uh, let's call it path. It's like a path mod. Um, it extends SBC plugin. It's the superclass. Let's finish that off. And that's all I should need. So I'll just full screen that so it's easy to see what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll just set the version number. So 0, 1 or something. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just for personal reference, really. And we'll call it uh, Path Maker. I don't know. Tunneler. That's good enough, I guess. Um, then we're going to override one of the commands in the plugin class, the handle command uh, method, which will create or uh, handle the command. It gets called when an input comes in from Minecraft. So um, let's check that command equal null. And command, and we'll just check that the command exists. Oh, what are we going to call it command? We'll call it um, we'll call it path. Oh, tunnel path. Path will do. So we're going to return false as a negative condition. Anyway, uh, return true because the command's found if it gets to here. Now, if uh, I want this args, I'll keep doing it wrong. Okay, this args, so I'll learn greater than one. That's if there's an argument. So, the syntax of this command is going to be. Um, command name, path, um, block, you've got to have a block, and a size, so a size of the path you want to create. Um, and to do this, we'll go uh, in block equals negative 1, in size equals negative 1, um, go block equals so we're just parsing the input at the moment um, into an integer format. Um, that gets a block. So we'll just surround that with a try catch because it throws a number format exception. And we'll just make block equals negative one. Uh, fail spelling. And we can go if that means that the size has been specified and we'll parse the integer again and try catch once again uh, default size can be actually scroll we'll make a negative one if Instance variable. Um, this is the same block. I like block a flag as well, so it doesn't start creating a path until um, it specifies a yeah, message to say that it's set successfully as well. There's our success message. 
and else. Um, so if you don't specify a block, let's say, let's turn it off. So if block is greater than negative 1, um, block is negative 1, it turns it off and we'll send another message. I'll just say um, path hoge disabled. There we go, they both look the same now. Alright, now we've got to specify block as an instant variable. Um, I'll make it public, I think like other things can change it. And we need size as well. I'm going to create a constructor to initialize it. So if it's a negative number, then we'll consider that um, the flag to say don't create the path um, and the default size will be three that means you know three blocks on each side of the player um, so that's the command written uh, as such now we'll create the actual implementation how it actually works so there's a method called um, an update this one and this is called once per frame pretty much so we'll just um, use this. That way whenever the player moves we'll know about it. So first of all we'll check to make sure that the block is uh, if the block's less than zero, so a negative number, we'll return. That means nothing happens. Otherwise we'll find out where the player's standing. So uh, so this method just rounds the position to the correct, the correct way really. Um, it's an internal command. And we'll copy this over. Y, Z. Now we've got the player's current position. Um, now we'll want to loop over it. So 4, 0. Oh, I can't do 0. I've got to have a starting position. So. Um, could do size times negative one and plus one for offset. Um, I less than size. Let's start. Um, I plus plus. This should put two blocks on either side of the player. Oh, this is what I planned for it to be. Let's copy this through. I want this J and J we want at negative one actually. Need this minus one as well. Um, J less than size, J plus plus, K, K, K. Cool. Alright, um now we just need another method to set the block. Um, this will just um, set the block in game it means if I want to change the method or something changes it's easier to maintain the mod um, so as you get into the world I go and we want it with a notify as well otherwise it won't appear there we go, sets the block um, and we only want to set the block to the block type when if if j equals negative one, then we will set the block um, to plus i y plus j z plus k, and then the block that we specified before. So just here. Um, we're using the block and the add update method to do the path. Um, otherwise, we want to create empty space. So we can probably just copy this. Um, and zero is an empty block. Alright. I think that's it. I'm probably missing something. Um, let's just try it. So, to try it, just push run. Bring up Minecraft. And we'll just do well for. Alrighty, there's a house. 
So let's find something to put a path into. Path 1. Not found, that's not good. Clean list. Plug in there. Tunnel. There. Alright, uh why is it coming out? Equals in one case path. Yeah, that should work, I think. No, it doesn't work. Um oops, that's why. Simple mistakes. Let it go. There we go. Let's try again. Path one. Cool. Now it creates a path. I think it's bang on what I want straight away. Alright, let's see if it goes across water. Cool. Easy way to make path now. Alright, so I'll just turn it off. Cool, that worked well. Alright, um Alright, now I mean important factor in this this must work. You've got to be able to make TNT parts. Oh, you can make TNT parts. Uh, turn path off so it doesn't follow me. Bang. Cool. That works. Alright, we should check size now. Uh, make sure you can do custom size. Uh, can't check. Path uh, 10. Oh, yeah, 10. So just something two. Two, two, yeah. Ten. Cool. Make it really big. Uh, ooh, hundreds laggy. Yeah, hundreds not a good idea. I was probably updating. All right, so we'll try and. Fix efficiency now. Uh, so to fix efficiency, we can set some variables to check if it's been set already in this uh, in this frame or in the position you're in, so it doesn't constantly update. So it should make it a little bit more efficient. Um, We just initialize everything as negative one. Alright, um, and then we'll once we're here we can go if um, x we we'll just check that it's in the same position as before and if it's in the same position then we'll get out of it. Um, ignore it. So it should save the processing of this loop here. Um, Return. Alright, because this loop's what's causing the problem. And then at the end of the loop, we can go previous x equals x. So this just sets where it was last run at. Alright, this should make it a little bit more efficient. And if this works, we can we'll finish up the video. So we'll just bring this in. Oops. Alright, um, let's give it a go. Type path 3, let's do 100 again. It's a bit more efficient. Still a bit laggy, but it's a lot better than before. There you go. How to make a flat world in a number of seconds? Turn path mode on. Uh, set speed to three. Yeah, that's not too good. If you have a better computer, you could probably do it. That works quite well. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. That's my first uh, of this type of video. Um, give me some feedback. What I need to improve on. Thanks for watching.